Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your June 2021 monthly messages from Spirit Reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. My intentions for this reading Sagittarius is channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of June. Um, whatever you need to be aware of at this time, whatever you need to know about, anything that's hidden to be brought to light, whatever's been weighing heavy on your heart or in your mind to give you clarity, healing, insight, and guidance in regards to that, and anything specific and um, perhaps whatever shows up in regards to your love life, your career, your finances, or spiritual evolution, I hope to give you clarity through this reading. I open the portal for my spiritual team to come through for you, my spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and my highest self to come through, and I open the portal for you as well to invite any specific spirit team members you have in mind, ancestors, angels, spirit guides, or even past sound loved ones that you would like to come through, you're welcome to invite them at this time. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Sagittarius. And if this message is not for you, Sagittarius, I suggest checking out your other signs in different placements. All right, let's go ahead and start the reading. I'm going to see what being of the light would like to come forward for you at this time, a light keeper specifically. We also know them as ascended masters, perhaps angels, and see what message they have for you in the month of June. So, what does Sagittarius need to know for the month of June? Whose energy would like to come through for my beautiful Sagittarians in the month of June? Cernuos, whoo, life force. So it says, express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Sagittarius, you have a powerful, passionate, creative force that relies within you that is in you and it's been waiting to come out it's been pounding within your sacral and um, specifically solar plexus chakras to come through and now is the time to show yourself show what you have show the world what you have and you will be very sought after um what you have the gifts you have the talents you have the creativeness you have is a gift. It's rare, it's unique, and you need to know this so you can stand in your power within this. Um, Sagittarius, if you've been single, if you've been going through a drought of romantic encounters, it's the end of the drought. Um, truly, a lot of people are having their eye on you, Sagittarius. A lot of people find you to be very attractive, magnetic. Um, you've been like, damn, mermaid, well, I haven't done much to change my appearance. It's the energy you carry. I'm sure you could be very physically attractive, but it, it's this undeniable pull towards you right now, Sagittarius, that is alluring, it's mysterious, and it's very intriguing. Um, I feel you're going to get a lot of DMs. People are going to ask you out. People are going to ask for your phone numbers. Um, and this could also be in the workplace too, like especially if you've been putting your work out there, you're starting to, you will get recognized. Bottom of the deck is Mercury, open communication. Get a weight off your chest, speak up with love, and be heard. Hmm, so with Mercury here, a few things touching up on this. You could have Gemini, Virgo in your chart. Um, also, this is pointing to Mercury retrograde. I feel as we're going through at this time, usually this is a time of delayed communication, of setbacks, of um, technological errors and stuff. But Sagittarius, I feel for most, <laughs> it's kind of been a difficult time. But with you, this isn't going to stop you. And Mercury, I feel going in retrograde is trying to highlight for you what you've never expressed, what you've never said, and what needs to be said, what needs to be heard. And you're, you know, being Sagittarius, you usually speak your mind with um, 
clearness, clarity, clear cut communication that's undeniable. But I feel with a specific someone, you've been a bit not so blunt. You haven't been so, you haven't said your feelings. And I feel it comes from a place of not wanting to hurt this person, disappoint this person. But Sagittarius, you need to understand, and this is for a very few of you, so hold on for a bit if this isn't for you. But um, if you feel like you've been holding your truth back from a certain someone, if it comes from a good intention, if it comes from an intention of wanting to express the truth, you shouldn't feel bad for saying it, even if it's not what someone wants to hear. And, you know, don't stifle your truth for the comfort of others. That is not the way you're meant to live life, especially being incarnated with Sagittarius energy in this lifetime. You're meant to express yourself unapologetically. Um, and I think this is the time now that Mercury's in retrograde for you to really surface what you haven't said, what you haven't expressed, and to do so. If someone has to react negatively to the truth of what you're expressing, that person doesn't truly serve your greater good or needs to be in your life. And maybe Sagittarius, I even feel for some of you, when you express this, when you say this, when it's been said, you're going to get a different reaction than you thought you would get from this person. And I feel it's going to be a lot more understanding than what you thought you would receive from them. Regardless, um, Sagittarius, communication's coming in. People are noticing you. People are recognizing you. Cernuus, a powerful Celtic god, is here to help bring in this life force of creativity and passion for you to start implementing this in your life, to start creating, to start manifesting. And it's all positive here. Um, I feel, feel specifically, whatever you're manifesting now, I'm hearing September is going to be a very big month for you, um, but there is going to be no drought from here till then. Um, you are going to start to see the change in your life, the passion in your life grow. Opportunities are coming in that people are going to want to express to you. Um, even, you know, confessions of attraction, I feel, are coming your way, Sagittarius. You are not going to feel a lack in June. And if you're going through a lack mindset right now, if you feel like you haven't received what you've been waiting to receive, hang in there because it's going to do a complete U-turn. When Cernuus is in your life, everything is going to start to become flourished. It's going to be very powerful, very direct, um, and very bountiful as well. So let's go ahead and keep on going here. What does Sagittarius need to know right now, Spirit? What does Sagittarius need to know for Jim? Regret. Funny, Scorpio just got this in their reading. So if you have Scorpio in your chart, I suggest checking out the Scorpio reading to see if there's messages for you there. Sagittarius, again, what didn't work out, what didn't happen, you put too much on yourself. Sometimes there's things that are out of our control. Sometimes there are people who don't see our worth, see our value, reject us, devalue us, and we hold on to that opinion that they projected onto us as being our truth. Um, and it's, it's just not the case. And with this regret, it's time to let go any choices you've made that you felt you could have done differently. Yes, there is value in reflection and atonement, but there's something you've been holding on to for too long that you felt guilty about, ashamed about, regretful that you didn't follow through with it. And truly, if there is something that happened in your recent past that there was a door closed, it closed for a reason. And it may be hard to accept that. It may be kind of, you're going through that transition of fully letting it go. But Sagittarius right now is the time to start looking towards what you can create in this very moment and to fully let go of anything that hasn't happened for you or that you're still kind of in five of cups feelings over the spilled milk, the disappointments, the regret, that energy, you've outgrown it and it's time to really move forward. Yeah, outgrown it with growth at the bottom of the deck here. 
I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Yeah, Sagittarius, if there's still some business you need to settle, especially with Mercury in retrograde, um, if there's still something you need to say to someone that you haven't said and you regret not saying it to them, send the message and see what happens. But honestly, like if it doesn't go your way still, it's time to close and lock that door. You know, you, you are meant to experience life and feel the power of the creativity that you, is growing in your life, the opportunities that are coming in your life. And it's almost like this feeling, Sagittarius, kind of different than what I picked up on Scorpio's reading. Um, it's kind of like with this regret, you are almost feeling guilty, perhaps, of what is manifesting in your life that maybe hasn't manifested in the people around you. Like, you know, you almost feel guilty for receiving these blessings and these opportunities that others are still kind of struggling with in their life, but you don't have to put that on you. It's like almost as if, as Sagittarius, I, I hear, I'm hearing this expression right now that you have a heart of gold. Um, maybe you've been told that and you truly do. You may have a tight circle, like you don't have a huge amount of friends that um, you can call to invite to this, you know, huge gathering for, but you do have a select, trustworthy, dependable people in your life. And I feel Sagittarius that you do a lot for them and you sacrifice a lot for them. And there's someone in particular where I feel it's like a codependent energy going on between the two of you. I don't know if this is a family member, a friend, a romantic or ex I'm hearing romantic partner that was just very much dependent on you being there, on you providing, you being, you know, the person that they needed you to be at any time, any place, but it's time to focus on you. And maybe this is even a group of people, your family, the collective of your family, or a group of friends. And it's almost as if you're starting to get this abundance and prosperity that they aren't receiving and they're not getting. And I almost feel like it's rubbing off on you, Sagittarius, when it's not supposed to and it shouldn't. Like their jealousy, their resentment, um, and it, it may not be super conscious in their minds. I'm hearing like I do feel this person's not a horrible person, but it's like they can't help but get feel some type of way seeing you move forward while they're still stuck. And part of the Sagittarius energy that I love so much is that Sagittarius, despite like certain experiences they go through, certain times they have to overcome, there's this undoubtful optimism of just knowing this is going to end. The hard times are only temporary and I'm going to push forward and move on from it. Like that, that is your essence. And that is what you're re-sparking in the month of June. And regardless if someone wants, is envious that you have that mindset of just moving forward, moving past and moving beyond, um, don't let them hold you down because you're moving ahead with your life with or without them or even just becoming more independent with yourself and your own creativeness. I almost feel for some of you there's like a business partnership um, that you're kind of the more successful partner in this or whatever it's a project or like if it's not so business related, it's definitely like a project that you guys have a joint account, a joint business, a joint Instagram account even. Um, don't let this person's like, I, I, it just feels as if Sagittarius, you're becoming the leader in this and someone's uncomfortable with that. But don't regret the choices you've made to get here. Don't regret the things you've had to do for yourself to enter this time of powerful creation. Um, and don't let others make you feel guilty for that. That's really the energy I'm picking up from all of this. You're outgrowing any regrets from the past and you need to continue to move forward in that. All right, so let's go ahead and get some more messages. I usually get so many messages for these readings because it's not so specific like my love readings. It is general, but they, they come out for a reason. 
does Sagittarius need to know about June? Delight. Beautiful. The frequency of delight supports her capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we evoke in others. Wow. Okay. And then empowerment. The frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely, uniting us with others in the deep trust that we are all connected through the same source. Sagittarius, again, this month is very positive for you, is very empowering for you. You're starting to see the light out of the tunnel. And I don't feel like you're in a bad tunnel, but you're in a tunnel that I feel... Um, it was something where you had to kind of realize what was bringing you down, what was restraining you, what was making you not expand into what you wanted to create in your life, what you wanted to pursue in your life, what it is that brings you happiness, brings you joy. And I feel some of you, again, it had to do with putting others before yourself but now you're deciding, this is my life. These are my opportunities. And with the right people, I will share them. But with the people who want me to still stay in this period of despair and regret because they're going through that, I'm not going to choose that. Because that is not me. That is not what I'm experiencing. And that's not my life. I feel, Sagittarius, you're clearing space for the people who do support you to come in through your life. And again, there is new people coming in your life that want to invest in you, see your potential romantically and career-wise and or career-wise. And you're going to be very happy with the new opportunities coming forward. But anyone that kind of side-eyes you for starting to make your own plans, making your own decisions and following through with them for your own creative forces for your own creation and empowerment, um, big indication that they have a lot of growth to do and that you being in their lives may not even perpetuate that growth. It may just stifle it because they envy you. And I don't know, Sagittarius, I don't feel like it's a sever to completely break, but it's one to keep distance of for now because I, I do feel whoever this is, they, I don't think, are aware of their own sabotage and what they truly kind of, how they're codependent with you. So break free from anyone that kind of dimmers your light, dimmer, dimmers your shine, or tries to keep you away out of jealousy from creating all that there is to create because you are a powerful creator. You are a powerful manifester. And nothing and no one should stop you from seeing yourself that way and believing in yourself in that way. Whew, so let's see what the tarot has to say. But this is a time of happiness, Sagittarius. You're going to get recognition. You're going to get communication. You're going to get offers. And don't doubt them and don't second guess them. You deserve this. All that is coming your way. Yeah, Three of Swords, Ace of Swords, let's get one more card. Anything else Sagittarius needs to know about Jan? There we go. And the Chariot. Yeah, wow. Okay, so yeah, Sagittarius, like I said, you've been going through a drought of disappointment, of hurts, of setbacks, rejection. Um... But let me just say, too, anyone that rejected you, they're feeling regret, okay? Because now you're rising above. Now you're being put in the light. Now you're being recognized. You're being appreciated. And if it's not yet Sagittarius, it will be in June. Um, and this Three of Swords is really about healing. Healing the regret that you've had about the choices you didn't make or, you know, the choices you sacrificed for others, for those of you that resonated with. You're coming out of that Three of Swords period, Libra energy. And with the Ace of Swords, breakthrough in mind, in communication, opportunities, um, contracts are coming through for some of you, promotions are coming through for some of you, um, communication about, you know, what someone, how someone sees you, honest communication, 
Um, but yeah, Sagittarius, there's a, an enlightenment that's happening in your life about all that you can do, all that you can succeed. And then the chariot, you're moving forward. You're moving ahead. You're not going back to this three of swords period. You have learned the lessons that have come from this, but mostly about, you know, relationships in particular, people in your circle in particular, and who's really on your team and who's really not, and who supports you and who's coming through to support you and who really doesn't. And you're going to move forward with the people that have your back and you're going to leave behind anyone that doesn't or, you know, if they're a little bit late, <laughs> you, a late start that you kind of had, they can catch up once they're at your pace, once they're at your speed, once they're at your alignment. But this is cancer energy. I also feel Sagittarius energy with the chariot um, breakthroughs. You are going to, if there was stagnancy, if there was slowness, um, it's moving forward. It's moving ahead and you're moving towards your delight. You're moving towards your success and keep going at it because I think this is all unfolding for many years to come. Um, but this is the opportunity you've been waiting for, Sagittarius. So hit the ground running. Don't wait for anyone. Don't expect or, you know, rely on anyone. You do this all yourself and you got to here by yourself with probably support and help from others, but ultimately it was through your decisions. And then Page of Swords, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Yeah, there was a lot to learn during the time of stagnation, during the drought. Um, and I think you guys kind of wavered between if I can do this or if this is not meant for me, but June is going to be the green light of letting you know this is absolutely for you. And for relationships too, Sagittarius, um, man, people who broke up with you, people who ghosted you, they're looking at you now, but I even feel there's opportunities that people are going to hit on you, come forward to reach out to you, um, even try to reconcile with you. But someone from your past that broke your heart, I think you just wanted to know that in some way they felt the same, even if they couldn't be courageous enough to express it, but you're already past it. You're kind of over that and you're moving forward even to new people, new connections, new things. This is all about growth. This is all about drive and passion in the month of June for you, Sagittarius, and following through with it no matter what. So let's go ahead and pull one card from the Crystal Mandela deck. And this is one of my favorite decks. And I'm going to ask what crystal energy wants to come forward for you and what another light being, a god, goddess, angel, um, wants to come through you as, or for you as well. And then I'm going to read an excerpt from the book to provide you with further insight. Yeah, and you're not letting anything kind of keep you in that stagnancy again, Sagittarius. You need to know that you have all it takes to move forward and that happiness is a part of your birthright. And you shouldn't feel bad for experiencing happiness through the achievements you've worked hard for, even if others aren't under the same shine as you. You know, I just feel that that's the way for some of you guys. Or that's how you've been experiencing life for a little bit. Or someone's been trying to make you feel guilty for your accomplishments and your success. Let's get one more card. Goddess Sar Saraswati, an Ammonite, from word to world. Yeah, powerful, powerful manifestation coming through here, Sagittarius. Um, what you speak, what you say, what you believe about yourself is what's going to appear in your 3D. And finally, you're seeing yourself in a higher light. Finally, you're seeing yourself in a positive outlook, and that's what's going to attract in your 3D. But let me go ahead and read an excerpt from it. Goddess Energy 888 coming through. We bring you the empowerment of word to world. What you speak of with intention you shall manifest. You are blessed with the creative power of an open and activated throat chakra. Mm -hmm. As you release subconscious fear of speaking your truth, memories of being silenced, and claim your true divine voice, your ability to change your word world through your intention is amplified. 
You have the power of divine creation through sound in you. What you wish to create and experience, speak of with joy. Yeah, and that's what you're going to see, Sagittarius, is what you tell yourself, the truths you say to yourself, the truth you say about your experience, the intentions you set, you're going to start to see it's going to be quickly manifested in your 3D. Um, you know, any beliefs that of yourself or what others have said to you, tried to hold you back from, it's going to be cleansed and purged. And finally, you're going to break through with your voice to speak your truth, like I said, to open up that throat chakra, and more importantly, to speak your beliefs into existence about you and what you can do. And you're going to just start to see the outcome of that. Just pour in. The people, the opportunities are just going to pour in. No more stagnancy, no more doubt, no more drought. Beautiful reading, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope that this has resonated with you in some way. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. And just very quickly, I want to say that this is the last month to enter for my two-year anniversary where I'll be selecting lucky subscribers to win a box full of goodies from me as a gift for all your love and support that I've had with my channel for the last two years. The box of goodies will contain tarot decks, candles, crystals, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in entering to win a box for yourself, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there. I love you, Sagittarius, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Sagittarius.